hi. I'm Frank Smith. Oh my god, Beth! Nice meeting you. Frank, don't tell me you were coming. That's because he doesn't know. He doesn't know? Oh, well, okay, this is gonna be very exciting. How do you know Uncle Frank? He's my roommate. I wanna know. Wally and I lived together, we have for 10 years. Never known anybody who was gay before. Of course you have. Claw director of church. Mr. Jiggerson? But he's so. What? Religious. Ah. I'm Kit Bowen from Screen Picks. I have to sleep. Um, thanks for uh, thanks for talking with me today. I I just this movie just touched me to the core. I was so emotional through the whole thing. But I really feel like the three of you, you and Paul as well, the 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 journey that you guys take together is just it's fantastic. Can you talk a little bit about being on the road together, all three of you? <laughs> <laughs> Sophia, go ahead. Uh-huh. Did you raise your hand? Uh, no, I. <laughs> thumbs up and pointed at you but i can uh do something uh yeah it was fun <laughs> peter <laughs> well uh yeah it was great i mean you know it was really a road trip i mean it started with sophia and paul and then sophia and me and then sophia paul and me and uh it was uh, it was it felt very real because we were in a car and uh we were like sort of driving uh through north carolina's landscape which is gorgeous and we got to know each other on on an intimate level and i think that sort of seeped through and uh, came across uh in our work uh, yes so. absolutely i mean the th- honestly because you know well first of all i loved the relationship between frank and wallet i just i don't know there was just something so genuine mm-hmm. and real about the two of you together but then adding you know adding sophia's character in there as well it's just uh uh, I found the cake. Yeah, I blinked on your character name for a second, yeah. Beth. Um, yeah. just, but like the three of you were just like you know, just so mm-hmm. real to me. I just really was really touching to me. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, I, I wanted to get your you your two's take on the film itself and how it made you feel. Uh, you know, even reading the script and then seeing the whole f- film together. You know, what what were your feelings about it, Sophia? My feelings about it, well, I love the script. I loved, loved, loved the script. I love the message. I love the way it was written. I love the relationships. And it just, it seemed so real and seemed such, seemed something that I, I don't usually see in, in films before. And, and and it's, it's. I really wish that this uh, sparks, you know, new films that um, are, you know, are, that, that are like this and have share the same message. So uh, yeah, I, I loved it and working on it was great. And I like watching the process of films and how they're made because, you know, in the beginning, they change so much from the script and the way it it, just by the actors and the producers and the director and then the editing process makes it all the difference. and, and, And then towards the end, it's something completely different from what you originally see. And that's what I usually feel like about it. But then I watched it and it was just the same. And, but in the, the best way possible, it did not, it had the element that that I loved about it did not change. And it was still just an amazing movie. And I feel like that's, that's um, you don't usually get that. You don't usually see something, you know, see the script and then see the movie. And you don't, you sometimes it's like completely different. It's almost unrecognizable, but this uh, yeah. had the same mm. Yeah. And I, I was not, I was not disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> and while it, you know, I mean, and while it's characters too, I mean, you know, we, we understand the perspective of, of the community, you know, the gay community here, but your character brought in how it's affect it's all over the world, you know, this, this situation. So, I mean, I'm, I'm curious on your take on it as well. On what specifically? On, on the film and, and what it meant to you. Oh. Well, you know, uh, when I read the script, uh, I just started crying and crying. And then I read twice and three times and eight times and 10 times. And every time I cried, uh, seriously, <laughs> I mean, every time I cried at the different places too, not just the same place. And then, you know, uh, being part of it and just making the movie was was a big privilege for me and working on it as a producer, as a creative producer was a big, big thing for me. And obviously it's a bit personal for me because there is a Middle Eastern character, uh, granted he's Muslim and I'm not, but nevertheless, it felt very inclusive and it got the message out there like Frank's 
big love. I mean, Frank's first love is a crush, these flashbacks, you know, that's when you're yeah. opening up to life. But his real deep love is Wally, because that's what the relationship is. It's like, you know, you go through a lot together, you go through a lot of laughter and tears and heartache and all of that. And nevertheless, you stick together. Despite Frank's addiction, Wally makes a vow that he will always stick by him. That's a big deal. I mean, we need a lot of Wallys in everybody's life. In my I, I need one. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's just like, it's something that is essential to have a Wally. And I feel that the message of the movie, uh, you know, like we are so connected and we are so, we should be there for each other. And we're so similar and not different if we're just willing to see that. I mean, there's a lot of things to talk about, but uh, this is what's coming to my head right now. Well, it's, it is. It's a beautiful, beautiful movie. And, and the two of you were just brilliant in it. So thank, thank you very much. They're wrapping me up, but uh, I, I appreciate your time. And hopefully we'll get to meet at some point in time in the future, maybe. Yeah.